I'm going to tell you about my exact thoughts and experience at Coventry University. So guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is David Akin and this video will be regarding my experience whilst at university. So guys, before I start, I believe this video might take some time. I do really hope it doesn't. So what I've done is that I have timestamped this video. So please feel free to check out the description if there's a particular part of the video that you'd like to watch. I do encourage you to do watch the entire video as you might learn something new. So guys, to provide some context, I'm currently on my placement here, which is great, as what I would share with you guys today would arise from a pre-lockdown experience, so before Uncle Boris basically sent us home. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. And to give you guys an, an idea of how the university normally works, in this video, I will touch on three main KPIs while discussing my experience at university. The first would be teaching and learning, and then I would also touch on extracurricular activities and after that I would also touch based on um, further prospects so what can you do after your university. In terms of learning and teaching or teaching and learning, Coventry University offers three main types. The first is lectures, the second is labs and then the last is tutorials. So at lectures you can imagine that the professor would introduce a topic for the week and this setting is often packed. As you can imagine for that particular module numerous courses can be taken that one module in terms of like in terms of what we use to actually house these resources we use something called module which is basically where we have our slides lecture slides our tutorials and everything that's where the material is stored so what will happen is that before the lecture you will be encouraged to basically go through the slides using module but we now use something different which is called Aula. To be honest, I'm not a fan, I prefer Moodle. <laughs> you would see it, I'll show you guys a picture. The second thing will be the labs. At the labs, you will test your experiments, your designs, your code. You most, li you most likely would have tags and you would have to work with other people to be able to achieve those tags. And then we then have tutorials, which is really, really informal in the sense that if you're struggling with anything like coursework, the tutorial staff will be there to help you. Obviously, they won't give you the exact answers, but they'll do something similar. At first year, my course had an issue whereby we had the tutorials before the lectures, and as you can imagine, this got really confusing very fast, and basically, we had to scrap it. So guys, let's say you have issues, things aren't going well, your grades aren't what they should be, you're stressing, you have a deadline at Friday at 5 p.m. So basically, what do you do? So there are two things I'm going to touch on. If you're at the start of the semester, you would have tutor out, whereby your tutor would go to a tutor room, which is basically just like a normal classroom or normal um, lecture room. And basically, they just sit there, and if any student who they teach has any questions, they can come in and they can ask their questions and get help. And the amazing thing is that at the start of this, at the, at the start of the year, no one ever shows. And by the example, you can imagine there's a queue to literally get into that room. If it's at the end of the year, I really hope that you know in this situation, but if it's at the end of the year, you can do two things. The first thing is that you can either apply for an extension or a deferral. If you apply for an extension, they'll basically give you like from some extra weeks, basically just to do the, just to do the um, piece of work. And the second thing is that you would have to basically put most of your priorities in the unit that has, um, you have to put your priorities in the unit that has more credits. For example, if you have two credits, for example, if you have two credits and one of them has, one of them is a 20 unit module and the other module is a 10, 10 unit module and both of them are due and you haven't started work on both of them, which one of them would you actually put most of your time into? I'm not saying you shouldn't do the other one because if you don't do it, you're going to fail it. But if you had, if you're in that situation whereby you had to put, choose where you're going to put most of your time, I would say put your, most of your energy in the 20 unit module. I'm not, I'm not going to say like, leave the other 10 unit module because basically guys if you don't do it you might you might feel so please do use your head so drive just just try your best not to be in that not to be in that situation but if you do find yourself in that situation you have to think smart in terms of the assessments we have coursework and exams so depending on the module that you you are doing for example you can have a module whereby 50 percent of it will be the coursework and the other 50 will be based on your examination grade Another thing to note is that Corinth University does a very good thing is that they offer uh, they offer advantage modules. So basically how it works is that you're given the opportunity to learn a language, learn new skills, basically anything that would give you an advantage in quotes when applying for a job. For me, I looked at my skill set, what am I good at, what am I not good at, and I basically went for something in leadership and business for my first two years at university. Uh, because basically I do engineering, why? 
so most people might do something similar but for me i just didn't see the point i did something in leadership and it really really helped me in terms of the university the university has a library which is called like lanchester library it has four floors the, the ground floor or the on the ground floor is for postgraduate students and it has three other floors you have the lower you have the um lower ground the first floor second floor and the third floor it is very very good because they have lots of lots of books lots of resources you can rent out, you can rent ebooks, you can you can book the last floor of the library as study areas. For example, let's say you have group projects, you can basically um book that that floor and you can basically um speak with your mates and then basically find solutions to the tasks that you're trying to do. So guys, now the second thing I will talk about will be extracurricular activities. So what can you do outside of your course? What can you do outside of university? University has a really, really strong student union and they also have a student union body which holds different events like parties, clubs, um, TED talks, basically religious activities, just depending on what you're looking for. And they have lots of societies, like for me personally, I was part of the ACS, which is the African and Caribbean Society. In, in first year, I was also part of the investment society in second year and I would also be part of the same society in final year as well. So basically, depending on your preference, there are lots of options. Um, The nightlife is also really, really good. Like, as obviously, I'm sure some people have heard that coming to the party city in quotes. So as we as, as see the party city, we have loads of things to do. We have um Empire, which is a very nice spot. We have Car 22, Club Bamboo. So yeah, if, if that's what you're looking for, trust me, you have lots of options you won't be disappointed <laughs> and other things like this this is also like this huge miscon misconception i believe that coventry is just like a party city and my answer to that is that uni any any university basically is basically what you make it if that's the reason why you came to university then that's all you're going to get but if you came for that and also your degree trust me you're going to get the best of both worlds that's basically what i can say coventry as a city is really nice it's not as big as birmingham if you want to go and basically live life i'll just say go to birmingham which is like 10 10 15 minutes away if you're driving or if you're catching the train and yeah, there are lots of things to do in Birmingham, but if you're in Coventry, I would say like the Cathedral, the Memorial Park um, is really good. If you're hungry, go to Kebabs. Some good spots are the Hub, the Cathedral, the Ice Skating Rig, Odeon if you want to watch movies. Basically, if you did not know the Hub, the, the Hub is basically like a recreational center for uni, for university students. You need um, a university pass to go in, split by the university. So there's a cafe, there's a cafe there which is really nice. You can meet other students. You can basically just go there and chill. They also have, I believe, like movie nights. Loud so like before COVID, they also have like movie nights in that same building as well. And yeah, I think like in terms of like the diversity, because obviously in this age, diversity is key. In terms of diversity, it's really, really good because I have like loads of friends from different nationalities. I have um Asian. Ghanaian, English, Spanish, Portuguese, British, men, they are from everywhere, <laughs> trust me. And now, finally, prospects, like future prospects. This is, for me personally, this is the one that the university does really well, like, in terms of, like, helping you to find a career or go out, go on activities, go on trips, the university does this really, really, really well. So, thumbs up, Coventry University. So, as I was saying, there are lots of things that you can do whilst at Coventry University. Um, you can go on trips, be it, be it inside or outside of the UK. Uni the university also has a program, program called the Global Leaders Program, which if you do really well in your first year, I believe, you get access to that program for free. If you do not do really well, or I don't know, really know how it works, but yeah, you can pay a certain amount, I'll put it here somewhere, and then that would give you access to the program for the duration of your course. It would also let you travel to different places, different um, factories, different places. I went to, for example, um, Manchester United Manchester United Stadium, which is Old Trafford. As a ma huge Manchester United fan from, from young, it was just a huge privilege to actually go to the stadium. And the kicker was that it was for free. And you can imagine that was just an opportunity that I personally could not, I could not turn down. So, Guys, you're gonna hang on there. I'm gonna test the atmosphere a little bit, and I'll give you the signal to come down, okay? Yes. Don't forget, 75,000 people are gonna wait for the signal. <laughs> All right? <laughs> <laughs>
um, in terms of placement, as, as I said at the start of the video, I'm currently on my placement and the university had a huge part to play in terms of preparing me for the assessment center, the interviews. I basically have a video on my placement experience. I'll, I'll link it up. And yeah, so in terms of placement, graduate schemes, the university does really, really well. So yeah, if this is something that you're interested in, trust me, the university has a talent team which would help you out in this case. So yeah, guys, I believe that's basically almost everything. My experience at university has been good, good. Um, if there are any cons to it, I haven't really experienced it, but I know some of my friends have because obviously like, COVID has impacted people a lot. Yeah, so I think university, not just university, most universities haven't really handled COVID really well. For example, I've got a few friends at uni at the moment and basically at the start of the pandemic, they weren't really getting enough support. For example, let's say you have some coursework to you and you're not getting the support that you would like. It's It can get really frustrating. I also had some other friends who had like issues with rent. For example, let's say you moved into somewhere and you can't say that due to the pandemic and you're still getting, getting charged for the same um, accommodation which is empty. Even though the university, it doesn't really have the part to play because obviously the accommodations are private. They haven't really helped out well, that much, but um, the good thing I believe that Coventry has, or oh, they used to do like COVID hardship fund. So if you're going through like um, anything difficult in terms of like your finances during COVID, they were able to give you some grants. I wasn't able to get any, but Coventry, if you're hearing this, you can always send some my way. Oh uh, yeah, so guys, finally, I hope you guys have learned something about the video. If you're interested in coming to this university, if you're interested in any module in particular, especially if you're doing engineering or you're about to do my course, which is computer hardware and software engineering, just feel free to shout me, just feel free to drop me a message in the descriptions or any of my socials, which will be on screen. So yeah, bye. So I think that would be everything for now. If you have any questions, just feel free and have a nice day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.